the strap resistance table on the impedance testing form shows you the resistance values for all the intercell connections on the battery bank. The first column shows you the strap number. If you click on one of these cells, it brings up a window where you can enter some additional information like the minimum and maximum recommended torque settings. You can enter some comments if you want. On this column you can see the individual values for all the intercell connection resistances. These are displayed in microohms here. Here you can see the percentage variation of each resistance with respect to the average. The average can be seen on top here. This column shows you the times, the different times at which all these readings were recorded. This column shows you the cell number, the negative post of which each particular strap is connected to. The last column shows you the type of connection. By default, it's set to inner cell. If you measure the resistance of a connection which wasn't an inner cell connection, you can click on the cell type for that particular connection and you will see additional options. You can select one of these options and when you do that, you will see that the percentage variation for that particular connection disappears and the percentage variation for all the other uh, readings are changed. You will see a new average being displayed on top there. And the reason being that if you have a different type of connection in your table, that connection is supposed to be different from all the other intercell connections and the resistance of that different type of connection would also be considerably different from all the other values. You don't want that individual value to affect your overall average and thus throw off all the other per stage variations for all the other connections. So that's the reason why the form does this. If you select a different type of connection in the last column, the form automatically disregards that particular connection. If you do not change the connection type here, let's say all of your connections are intercell connections, but you still want to exclude a reading from the average calculation, you can still do that by right clicking on the percentage variation cell for that particular connection. Two options come up when you select exclude reading you will see that the percentage variation for that particular connection is now displayed in orange. Uh, all the other percentage variations are recalculated. You will see a different average appear on top there. Uh, and that basically means that that particular cell has now been disregarded um, uh, in, in the average calculation. If you want to include it, simply right click on that same cell and then click on include reading and you will see that the values revert back to the original. Thank you for watching this technical support video from Megger.